You've tuned in to the Top 10 Garden Show with garden expert Ken Lane. Join the conversation daily as he answers timely garden questions. Email Ken a question directly from your phone to his desktop through the web at watersgardencenter.com. That's waters with two T's, gardencenter.com. Or visit face-to-face throughout the week where he can be found at Waters Garden Center in Prescott. Now welcome your host, Ken Lane. So let me just cover real quickly a, a myth a wives' tale, uh, something that's confusing. And if you check the internet, oh my gosh, you get Google will dumbfound you with the different opinions of whether coffee grounds are good or bad for your gardens. How do they help? What do they do? And so coffee grounds are, I mean, if you're a coffee drinker or tea drinker or whatever you're drinking, uh, I guess I'd say not whatever you're drinking. I should be careful with that. But let's see, you've got those ground coffee used, used tea leaves. Um, those are good for the garden, but only in this respect. They're basically a top dressing. I mentioned the first part of the show. Are leaves good for the, the gardens? And the answer was yes, because they top dress. They keep the ground from freezing. They attract worms. Uh, they, they they finally do compost down to where the plants can 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 reach up and and get, gather some of the nutrients that are broken down from the worms, and so that's what coffee grounds do. They're basically like leaves or pine needles on top of your ground. Uh, they don't actually add anything valuable to your plants in the short term. They're not. A lot of folks think of them as like a nutrient or a fertilizer like manure, and they don't do that. And so eventually, this time next year, they might break down and, and kind of be a benefit, but really they don't do much. They're just a top dressing to keep weeds in check, that kind of stuff. What coffee grounds actually do, this is scientific, you know, our universities are testing this, it does change the pH. So coffee grounds are rather acidic. And so they'll lower the pH of your garden soil. That's a good thing because in, in Arizona, our soil's very alkaline. I mean, it's like off the charts. So anything we can do to, to bring down or to lower that pH is going to benefit your plants. And so use coffee grounds, but don't expect anything from them. Add them to your compost pile. Great stuff. They'll help break down your compost faster because they're that good for it. But don't think of them as I'm going to put them around my house plants, and my house plants going to perk up and be so much better. I've got some aphids, woolly I've got woolly aphids on my on my ficus, coffee grounds, and all will be salt. No, it's not going to do any of that. I've got yellow leaves. It's not going to green them up. It's not going to add new growth. Coffee grounds don't do that. They simply replace some of a very minor point because you really, even if you had a direct access to Starbucks. You literally can't get enough coffee grounds to to make a difference. And so I would say use them, but don't expect anything from them. Everyone wants to add coffee grounds and all their garden problems are gone. Doesn't do that. Same with eggs. I can say that about eggs too. Eggs, you know, I'm going to put eggshells underneath my tomatoes. Well, that's a good source of calcium and calcium is very good in vegetable and flower beds. They need calcium. The problem with eggshells is they break down over like two year period. It takes them forever. And eggshells really hard. You grind them up, you try to get them as small as you can, but still they take, you're gonna put eggshells in now for next year's growth. You're better off putting bone meal. Bone meal is basically the same thing. It's ground up bone, chicken bones basically. And so the it's ground up so fine, it's like a powder so that the mycorrhizal colonies can come in, the worms can come in and break down that bone faster than even an eggshell can. Again, it's not bad for the gardens, but it's not good either. So I'd say it's kind of a neutral thing. Use it, but don't expect anything from it. Use them up. They're, they're finally, they're, eventually they're going to be do something. But if you need bigger zucchinis, more blackberries, you need more cucumbers now, you need more lettuce now, I need more calcium in my plants now, eggs are not going to help you. Coffee, coffee grounds are not going to help you. They're just going to, they, they're not going to hinder you. So and that's kind of, that's, that's where the myth is. 
They go, oh, you're going to have better gardens if you go do this at eggshells and coffee grounds in your gardens. It's going to be magical for you. Yes, it might be if you had enough of them. I don't think you can eat enough eggs to have enough shells to make a difference in your gardens. You really do need to add phosphorus. And phosphorus comes from superphosphate or from ground, from, from bone meal. That's the real, that's a measurable, I can add this much per 100 square feet and I know what I'm going to get. That's making a difference right now. A fertilizer. You're going to put a 744 all-purpose fertilizer down there and it is going to make a difference within the next three months. It's going to make, you're, you'll see the change. You can't do that with coffee grounds. It's not going to make a difference in the short term. It can't hurt. It can only help, but you're better off using those things out in the compost pile. Add it to your co compost bin. Let it break down faster so it can release more consistently for you and use it as a soil amendment to add more organic matter to your gardens rather than it's going to change the health of my plants. No, it's just going to help the roots maybe root out a little bit easier, better because of pH issues or eventually you'll get some calcium release. But uh, I would say don't count on coffee grounds and, and egg and eggshells make a difference in your garden this year. Be right back after this with some more garden tips, tricks, and garden hacks that'll make a difference in your garden this season. The holidays are here in Arizona's Christmas City, bringing family closer and those chilly winter winds. While you're decorating the outside, don't forget to brighten up the inside with exotic Christmas plants from Waters. Beautiful Christmas cactus and poinsettia are coming to town, grown exclusively by waters in colors you won't find anywhere else. Unique, vibrant, and guaranteed to warm even the dreariest winter day. For exotic Christmas plants at Waters Garden Center in Prescott. The Top 10 Gardener, your source for timely garden advice, seasonally correct for the garden guaranteed to make a difference in your yard this season. 